Welcome back to my channel, HN Odiki. Now, we will review the first slash next chapter of Berserk, the Black Swordsman arc. This is the first part of the chapter where we meet Guts, the Black Swordsman. Do you think he is a good guy or a bad guy? Let us find out. But first, we would like to recommend purchasing the official release. By buying, you can help the author make new chapters for us to review. Please subscribe and let us begin. The chapter begins with what we can assume to be a man and a woman packing next to a campfire, the woman grips his metal prosthetic arm, and says yes, and yes again. Suddenly her mouth begins to widen grotesquely, her skin grows stripy as her eyes begin to glow. She turns into a disgusting and large scary demon, and tries to hug the man. She says you fell into my trap, fool. As she traps the man with her legs, this is your last taste of heaven before I send you to hell. She says, licking the man. The man grabs her head and inserts his metal arm into her mouth, and says, The only one trapped is you, blank. And a loud noise is heard. The man puts on black armor and a cloak, before saying nothing and walking away from her burning demon body. We then cut to a walled castle city in a field. The man walks into the city and passes by many people, including a knight and a beggar. He notices a horse-drawn cart full of imprisoned children. Suddenly, we enter a tavern where some men are throwing knives at an elf. Damn. Oh you missed. The men say, the elf is tied to a post by the neck and avoiding the knives. Stop squirming around. How am I supposed to hit you? The large hairy man says. Other patrons of the bar comment in the background. I feel sorry for that elf. There's nothing we can do about it. Not even the Lord Mayor can lay a hand on the men of Coca Castle. Best not to get involved. The black swordsman enters the tavern as the large hairy man says. Hey, here comes the next one. The black swordsman puts a coin on the bar for the barman and says. I'm gonna mess up your shop a bit. Huh? Suddenly the black swordsman pulls out a small crossbow mechanism and some bolts. Meanwhile, the elf is binding the ropes, saying, Bring it on fathead. Why don't you untie me? I'll know right through your arteries. To which the fathead says I'm gonna stuff those words right back down your throat. Now stop wiggling. The elf is wriggling about more now crying no 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 no. Suddenly a bolt goes through the fathead's head, pinning him to a post. What? The elf is confused. The other men are surprised, yelling Igor. Bastard. Who the hell? Suddenly more bolts fly and kill two more of the men, leaving only one. The black swordsman puts more bolts into his crossbow as he looks at the last man. The rest of the patrons are scared and uncertain. Us as the last man, before a bolt gets shot into his nose. He screams gah. Ah. As the black swordsman grabs the bolt in his nose, the elf comments that's gotta hurt. The black swordsman says you're one of the thugs from Coca Castle, aren't you? The last man just whimpers in pain. The swordsman slams the bolt and the man into the table. Answer me. Yes sir. Alright, then I suppose you can deliver a message to your boss for me? What message? The black swordsman has come. That's all. The black swordsman. A boot steps behind him. The elf cries suddenly behind you. The black swordsman grabs and lifts his massive sword from his back. Catching the ambusher off guard. Eh? The black swordsman cuts him in half. What do you think of this chapter? What do you think of the black swordsman? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to all of our subscribers and you, the viewer. We really appreciate your help. If you would like to support our channel, please subscribe to our Patreon, HNODiki. We will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about. Good message to Coca Castle.